strikes by my window hits my chest right in the morning like a warning could have slept here for days i felt your heart beat felt your mouth breathe but it's not real we were close to see the sun but clouds got in our way and so
Hey guys, good to see y'all here. Welcome back to the stream. We're getting back to our Burning Shores playthrough. Um, let me catch up on chat here a little bit. We got lots of people here. Jerry, good to see you here. Jedi, good to see you here. Good to see everybody here. Ramiramis, Brianna, Travis, good to see you, man. I'm um, sorry, guys. I wasn't really paying attention to chat here too much before I got started. But I'm glad you're, you're all here to join us. I, I know pretty much everybody has... If you've got a PS5 and you got the DLC, you've probably finished it by now. I have also finished it on my other save at this point. So we are uh, we're playing through it again together. And hopefully you can enjoy that. And if you're on PS4, <laughs> there's probably a good chance you've you've watched ahead somewhere else. But uh, we're going to have fun playing through. So I'm not done with the main quest yet. If you haven't caught up yet, we're on For His Amusement. Not done with the main quest yet. Um, kind of trying to take it slow, as you guys know, for the most part, I think. Um, it's fairly short to do just the main missions in Burning Shores. So we're going to try and do a lot of side content. I think what we'll do first, because last time we finished the stars in his eye, the stars in their eyes, and we got the Spectre Gauntlet, I kind of want to go do in his wake so we can get the Railgun upgrade. Um... And I did, I know I was messing around with legendary coils and stuff, and we got the last argument, but I am going to go back to my full purple loadout, because that's kind of what I wanted to do in the first place. Um, and that is how I played through it off stream on the, the uh, save file that I have totally complete. And I kind of want to do that again with you guys, but we may play with the Spectre Gauntlet a little bit. Um, if you're over on Discord, then you know that we're doing some investigations with that thing to see exactly how it works. It's pretty interesting. But having the railgun is pretty critical for using it effectively. So I kind of want to go grab that and do that side quest, which starts right over here. I'll try to catch up on chat here a little bit while we run over. Sierra, it's the first time joining the stream and you recently found the channel. Welcome. Hope you enjoy the stream today. Oh, we got a little brimshine up here. That's good. Yeah, that's the other thing is I farmed brimshine for a long time on my other save, and we don't have... Looks like we only have nine pieces here. So uh, we're going to have to farm up some brimshine to upgrade things. Although if we're mostly using... If we're only using the purple loadout, then we won't really need it too much, but we'll want to buy the weapons at least. My outfit's back to purple too, so I'm using... The Quen Dead Eye look, but I actually am using the Nora Valiant, like I was originally. And we'll see how that goes. I've I've now been playing with a pretty different loadout. If you guys have watched my uh, my newest video that I posted last evening, I, it wasn't a full like loadout breakdown, but um. I went through a lot of the weapons, the new weapons that I like, and I've been using them a lot lately. And uh, it's very different from the loadout we have here. That's all purple, so. Please, I need your help. I, I don't know if you remember me. Uh, from the Ascension Hall, yeah. You weren't quite on board with Londra's message? Yes. And it only got worse from there. After you left the bunker, everything fell into chaos. Most of us decided to grab whatever boats we could and come back here. But then Pyrrhic showed up, another one of Walter's thugs. He and his men tried to round everyone up. They got my friend Lon and took him away, and I couldn't stop them. Please, can you find him? The, the Admiral doesn't have the manpower to mount a search. If I remember it right, Lon was more enthusiastic about Londra than you were. Lon had a hard time on the expedition. He nearly drowned in the storm, and after he ran aground, he got very sick. He spent weeks in his bedroom, barely able to breathe, let alone move. I, I think for him, it seemed like Walter offered everything. Sustenance, comfort, salvation. All an illusion. It seemed real enough for a time.
After I left Lantra's bunker, what happened exactly? The camp fell into chaos. You killed Zeth, and he was the only one in contact with Walter. So when Brennick told us what he said, that Walter was done with us, we had no bearings. So a group of us went for the boats, figuring that our only real choice was to come back here. That's when Pyrrhic and his goons arrived and started rounding people up. And before I knew what happened, they grabbed Lon. I shouldn't have left him behind. But Pyrrhic and his men were furious, violent even. Leaving was the right idea. It wouldn't have done Lon any good if you got hurt. I don't know. Maybe. Hey, uh, hmm. That's funny to say your name, but thank you so much for the super. $20 is very generous. My voice is very relaxing. I, I'm glad you think so. Um, also, Leonard, you mentioned that game voices are quiet. I just boosted the audio a little bit for you guys. It's hard for me to balance between like my audio and your audio, so if you guys think something's off, just let me know and I'll adjust it. Where did you last see Lon? On the shoreline south of the bunker. I was on the last boat to escape. Pyrrhic and his men charged us just as we set out. We barely made it. I hate to think of what they've done to Lon. Please, find him for me. I'll do what I can. Gojira, good to see you here. Thanks for dropping in. Uh, Frozen, you take it. Nobody has found the elusive final Brimshine sliver. Somebody commented on my most recent video, like this morning, that they found enough to upgrade everything. Now, I commented back, and I haven't checked yet, because I asked them, like, did you have the Quen Commander, or the Black Tide Quen Commander? You know, did they pre-order? And I don't know if they've responded, but somebody said they did have enough to do everything, but they may have not been talking about the pre-order items. Um... Yeah, if my audio's off, guys, let me know. Like, if you can't hear the game very well, or if my voice is too loud or whatever. Let me know. It's, uh, kind of crazy, like... Actually, let's fly there. Looks like some of the Quen from Lundra's bunker came back. I'm glad they came to their senses. Audio for streaming and videos and stuff is, like, the biggest challenge. You'd, th you'd think that video would be but video is actually pretty simple if you have the right equipment it's the audio that goes crazy like in my burning shores uh not my most recent video but the one before that on like the getting started tips i realized my my voiceover audio was really muddy which i wasn't happy with so i've adjusted a lot of settings to try and hopefully make that better I don't know if you guys notice a difference or anything, but I'm like constantly trying to play games with making my audio better. And sometimes you get yourself into trouble, you know, you adjust too much and then it sounds worse. So, anyway. Hey, Twinge. Good to see you here. Our laundry's devoted. If they're like Zeth and his squad, I better be careful. Revenge. Oh. We're flying over a rebel camp. Travis. Good to see you here. Also, guys, um... I'm close to the shoreline of Tosu mentioned. Harris, Lazinger, and Foss and may have pointed out that I may have made a mistake when boats. in my most recent video where I was talking Tosu about so using the Eye of the Storm and the fact that, like, instant chances pool together. I did a little bit of testing right before starting the stream and I think they're correct and I was incorrect so I think that uh, when you use like the rain of sparks because it uses regular arrows they do seem to pull together but then when you go for well I don't have it on this save but when you use elemental arrows like everyone got away. on the new eye of the storm it seems like they don't pull together
Tosu said someone named Purik and his squad rounded up the rest of the Quen. I guess this guy fought back. I need to find where they went. My focus can help. Yojira, glad you found that helpful. Hey, Phosphorus. Glad you could join the stream. I was just talking about how you, uh, how we were looking at the instant chance issue. Quinn were loading up supplies. There must have been a panic when Pyrrhic showed up. Just wanted to see if you could actually read what was on there. Seems Pyrrhic ordered an evacuation to a camp. With directions for stragglers. West through the sea's teeth. And past where the giant steel serpent reaches the tides. Hmm. Might be easier to search from the sky. PVT, um, sorry, I'm not sure if there's a way to say your name correctly, but... Do I have a schedule for playing this whole playthrough? Sort of. I generally stream on Fridays and or Saturdays. Today's a little weird. Um, being on a Sunday. But I don't hold myself to it exactly because I prioritize making my videos over streaming. Some kind of shrine to Londra. Pyrrhic goons must have left this as a show of devotion. But uh, we'll get a little bit further in the main quests today. And then we'll probably have maybe two more streams to finish everything. Yeah, Phosphorus, I saw you guys were talking about that uh, the new Elite Coils also boost buildup. That's, that's pretty big. I'm going to have to try that out. That's the thing with being the content creator, right? It's like, I spend so much time making content now that I don't have as much time to test things as you guys. So I really appreciate when you let me know about stuff like that. That's that's why I love Discord too, you know? We all get to learn together. Krullen, um what stage of the game am I at right now? We're doing a side quest called In His Wake. A lot of jagged ruins in the water. Could be the sea's teeth from Pyrrhic's note. We just finished giant the stars in their eyes last stream. Should be somewhere south. Do you guys know, like, this music that's playing right now? Is that associated with Those the Stormbird Island? Out of the water almost looked like a serpent. Might be the landmark Pyrrhic's note mentioned. So now I go south past this ruin, and then towards the sunrise. Because this Stormbird is the one you fight in the cloud, which we did last stream. And then it just kind of stays here. But it seems like that music plays every time you come over here, no matter what. Let's take a quick detour here. You know what's coming, Jerry, right? Oh, here's five brimshine. I should have included that in the brimshine tips. That's an easy one. Use for this. And elite traps. We're gonna do the tune, Jerry. You might have to help me remember it. I think I remember it. But you're better at it than I am. Do we have the... Oh, I don't have the, uh, the Easter egg bow on this one, but we don't need it. We don't need it. This transmitter, there's corrupted data on it. And it's linked to a flight path? 
Maybe if I follow its trail, my focus can repair the data. I should fly to the starting coordinates up in the air nearby. Aerial capture. We're not going to do that right now. Is there a code in this one? No. So if you guys haven't seen this, there's a pretty cool little Easter egg here on the island. Which we'll do in just a second. I just want to open this door over here. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. I don't know what those mean, though. I mean, I know they're music notes, but I'm not good at that. <laughs> Looks awesome. And it's got more directions carved into it. There's a note attached. Delva this belonged to was marooned here. Thought they were on a wild goose chase. So their search for the gold hollow turned up nothing. Well, one step closer to finding what their directions lead to. So that was one of the Delver trinkets the the that we just got. Okay, this is the Easter egg, though. So you try to come open this chest, right? Locked. You can't do it. So then you see these shooting targets on the wall here, right? And what we need to play on them, they make a sound. We need to play the Horizon tune, the Horizon theme song on them, Aloy's theme. One five six two three, or one five six five first, Jerry. I thought you had to do one and two. Huh. There we go. That tune sounds familiar. Reminds me of. Metal and rust. It's gonna play, ready? Rebirth. So it's those vocals that you're playing. Pretty cool. I thought it had to do with The Last of Us Part 2 at first, because I had no idea it was the Horizon theme till Jerry told me. And uh, I thought it was The Last of Us Part 2 because you find that you find that uh, suction cup bow, which we can also do this stream if you guys remind me later. Um, there's a suction cup bow that's an Easter egg for The Last of Us Part 2 that you can actually get and use, but it only does like one damage. So I figured you had to use it. Like I found that first, or actually I think I found this first on my other playthrough, and then I found the bow. And I recognized it. I haven't actually played The Last of Us Part Two, but I've watched the majority of a playthrough of it. So I recognized the bow, and I figured you had to play like The Last of Us Part Two theme song, and I couldn't figure that out. And then I eventually looked up somebody who had figured it out, but I didn't realize it was the Horizon theme till until Jerry told me. So, that's Those ruins. Pretty cool Easter egg. That's Pierre's camp. I got to find one. Let's grab a different shredder here. Going off that note, I shouldn't expect a warm welcome. Yeah, Gatorade, the Better toy bow is uh it's by the relic ruin. Like you're saying. Sunwing, you're going to let them know we're here, knocking trees down. They're keeping prisoners.
giving myself a, a low health boost so I can kill these guys faster. Hey, Kusta. Is that how you say your name, by the way? Kusta? Kusta? I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but thanks for becoming a member. I saw you did that off stream. Appreciate that. Spectre. No volatile sludge for me? Come on, man. <laughs> Hannibal, what's my real name? You're the first person to ask that, I think, actually. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you guys my real name by the end of the stream, but you have to guess what it is all stream. We'll see if anyone gets it. I don't have a problem telling you guys my real name. We'll have to do that eventually. I mean, I want to maintain some level of privacy. Like, I won't tell you my last name for now, but I have no problem telling you guys my real name. Oop. I'm missing my shots here. Can't with my stamina this low. Thomas, Tyler, Andrew, Scott, nope. Evander, no. Something beginning with A, no. You guys want to play another guessing game? I was at a comedy show last night. And you guys will be able to guess who who the who the comedian was. It was a pretty popular person. PVT is it a common name? Um, not a super common name, but it's not like really exotic or anything. Josh, no. Kevin, no. <laughs> I'm probably going to miss it if one of you say it because you're all guessing. Freeing those prisoners might even out the numbers. There! Oop. Hit them! Oh. 
Is it Moses Moses? No. Brock? George, no. Timmy, no. <laughs> We're going to play this game all stream. All right. I think we got everybody here. Has the fighting stopped? Warriors, whoever you are. Over here. Twinge, yeah. We're going to guess my name all stream. that took out Seth. Are you here to get rid of Pyrrhic too? Because if you are, I'll gladly help. He killed my friend on the way over. What happened? It wasn't Lon, was it? No. Artor. He fought back when Pyrrhic rounded us up, and that brute made an example of him. We were all supposed to be a part of Walter's beautiful new world. <laughs> what a load of shit. Give me half a chance. And I'll put Pyrrhic down in the dirt. Hold on. Have all the prisoners been freed? Only the ones up here. There's more underground with Pyrrhic. Lan's probably there too if that's who you're looking for. Go on. I've got your back. Uh, Landon, I got so many coils because I used the new arena duplication glitch to duplicate them. Um, somebody asked a question think I guess not Walter White Gatorade <laughs> you got it no yeah it's not Joe Jedi any idea where they're keeping the prisoners the workers quarters were practically cells already probably there Heisenberg. Inside, I'll try and free them. Uh, I don't know. It depends. Depends on the conditions. Prisoners should be just past that gate. The gate needs someone to hold it open. You get the get joke. Get me in there, and I'll hold it for you. Where was the comedian from, Moses? <laughs> um, that's too much of a hint. I can't tell you that. I can tell you he lives in New York City. Got it right now come on in I don't understand Glizzy family I can't really give you guys hints about who the comedian was because you'll guess it right away if that's a hint hey over there comrade huh? now's your time help us fight I'm back you. no it wasn't John Oliver Looks like they sold virtual reality equipment. Make Is them this pay. What wanted? Oh crap! I'm out of piercing spikes. I did not come prepared to this, and I burned a lot of my arrows already. What? Uh... Their own weapons turned against them. one there. I can't really slide in here. Give me the prompt. There we go. Looks like 
they've got their own backup. Push them back. Oh, now you're whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, bud. Quite a lot of guys in here. Finish her from range. Dave Chappelle? No, I wish. I like Dave Chappelle. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if I've ever seen that quick time event before. You could knock people off in Horizon for fall damage. That might make it a little too easy, though. Whoops. I think We're that's clear. everybody. No sign of Peric or the last of the prisoners. His quarters. 
down the top floor. We'll find a way in. Andrew Schultz? No. Jerry Seinfeld? That'd be amazing, but no. Key module. Maybe it'll get us into Pyrrhic's headquarters. I'm not going to be very well prepared going into this, uh, this last fight here. No strike through arrows. Bless Ken. Trevor, as in Trevor Noah. That's correct. It was Trevor Noah. What did Launcher want here? I'm not sure. But this was all buried. Cost a lot of lives. I'm sorry. All right, I think we got everything. Jedi, did you guess Trevor first? It was a great show. I had a great time. It was hilarious. <laughs> he must have scurried away with the last of the prisoners. He was really good live. I've never seen him live before. We'll find him, and hopefully one. I'll check for tracks. Brianna, yeah, it was really cool. We actually bought the tickets. We had to drive pretty far there. to get there. Let's go. The um, others will tend to their wounds. We bought the tickets before the pandemic. And this show was canceled like and rescheduled like three times. So uh I was pretty stoked to finally be able to go. Yeah, Twinge, I've read his autobiography. It's pretty amazing. All the stuff that happened with his mother too. She got shot in the head and lived. It's insane. What do you know about Pierre? Do I have any traps on me? Yeah, we have some. Might have to try to use them. He ran this thing. Loved holding the whip over us. And his guards, my former comrades, he'd send them away and they'd return different dead eyes like machines and they'd execute brutal orders without question that's not good yeah sorry guys if, if somebody guessed it a while ago I uh I wasn't paying attention while I was fighting there somebody I also saw somebody guess my real name too already but we'll we'll tell I'll tell you what it is at the end of the stream. Oh, it's yeah, it's piercing spikes we're out of. That's not good. Uh, let's see. Could always rope it down. We'll see how it goes. I might have to resort to that. I shouldn't. I don't think I should have to, though. Ambush! Oh, that's a good start. I'll finish what that could. Detonated. You make the challenging nice. thing with specters is I'm just not used to their move set. You know. I don't fight him enough. That 
I wish the arena had a challenge with a specter in it. Maybe they captured one. There, let the acid do its job. No, no, don't go over, don't go over there. Walter will reward me for your death. Missed that one. Ah, oh. ah. Twinge, didn't you say there was a spot? Like right up right on their chest, like at the top of their chest, that's a weak point, like the headshots. Maybe it doesn't apply on this guy, but You know, I've never actually ran up to him and tried to like melee him. I wonder how that goes. Where is he? You can't get away from me! Probably not well. You don't look so good, barbarian. Oh boy. Grab this on the go. <laughs> no, I will not fail. You regret chasing me. How did he not trigger the traps? Those didn't even hit him. Your death is It's done. Now to find Lon and the other prisoners. Oh, that was my trap. Their neck seems to be a weak spot. Huh. Yeah, I feel like I hit him in the neck a couple times, but it didn't work. I'll need a workbench. Is, is Pierce dead? Hold on, I'm just trying to catch up on chat, guys. Yeah, I probably should have frozen, Travis. That's a good point. We got it done, though. Purex dead. Now what? It's over. You're okay. Okay? You just killed my only link back to Walter. She freed you. From what? Eternal Paradise? I'll never join the Ascension now. Okay, I'm guessing you weren't brought here by force. Otosu sent me. Otosu doesn't understand. None of you do. A living ancestor offered us salvation, and one by one you've been killing his messengers. I hate to break it to you, but there is no paradise. Walter was using you. He doesn't know or care where you are. If he did, wouldn't he be here? And I'm to take your word over his. If it were up to me, I'd just leave him. Lon, it isn't safe here. You have to come back to the settlement. Otosu is worried sick about you. 
Will it be good to see him again? I suppose. Besides, what choice do I have? I'll make sure everyone gets back safe. You and this and great. He might not appreciate what you did, but the rest of us do. See you in the room, Aramis. Thanks for dropping in if you're still here. I should make sure they got to Fleet's end okay. I'm checking with Otosu. He didn't tell me the whole truth about this. Um, Cat Dad, yeah. The glitch is very difficult to do now. So it's definitely frustrating. Travis is 100% knockdown power too much. Like if you uh, stack knockdown, elite knockdown coils and add them up. Well, let's see. We have the last argument here, right? So it's got, when it's fully upgraded, it's got 25% knockdown power, I believe. So how are you getting a hundred by doing fifty-five? How are you even getting a hundred? While I'm here, I could stop by workbench, upgrade my Zenith weapon. Paradox must be out there somewhere. If it is, we'll create it for ourselves. Aloy, thanks again for the rescue. But I wanted to warn you. We did a count, and not all of Seth and Pyrrhic's thugs are accounted for. There's more of them out there. They might be camped at places Walter had us excavate, like Pyrrhic was. Be careful. They'll be out for your blood. Got it. I'll have to watch my back. How are Lana and Otosu? You haven't offered any real proof. Walter might still come back for us. If he was going to, wouldn't he have come already? I'll be back in a minute, okay? You weren't entirely honest with me. I know. I was afraid that if you knew that Lon went with Pyrrhic willingly, you wouldn't go after him. Your heart might have been in the right place, but it was manipulative. Laundress kind of thinking. I'm sorry. How can I make it up to you? Keep taking care of Lon. And any others that need it. I'm guessing he's not the only one who's still caught up in Laundra's lies. You're right about that. A bunch are still in denial. And once our shipmates here, the ones we left behind for Walter, realized that they had been abandoned willingly... Well... The reception has been a bit cold. Then you two have your work cut out for you. Find a way to bridge the gap. That won't be easy. We'll help each other. You think he'll ever snap out of it? I do. He just needs to feel loved. And it has to be real. You can reach him. I know you can. So, Travis, um... I would say you can go overboard with knockdown because I'd have to pull up the spreadsheet. In my resource database, I have a spreadsheet. Let's go to a workbench and look at this. Um, it won't be easy, but the way knockdown works, out. it's the same way elemental buildup works, basically. So every machine has a threshold at which they'll stagger and then also when they'll actually fall down and be in the knockdown state. And uh, if I'm remembering correctly, like a slaughter spine and a thunder jaw are like 615 or something like that. And a single drill spike deals 315 plus 15 for every tick. And there's 15 ticks. 
So, you know, you really only need enough for one drill spike to be able to deal the threshold amount for, a, for an enemy. And so you can kind of go overboard. Yeah, this goes up to 25% knockdown power. So you can do 25% plus the elite ones are 15, right? Let's double check. Yeah, 15. So you can go 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, plus 25. That's 100%, yeah. So you'll double your knockdown damage. And then there's also a knockdown bonus when you overdraw a spike. So you get even more. Um, and if this deals, if a drill spike deals 315 just from the impact, then you'll be doing 630. And then plus an overdraw, you'll be doing even more. Plus the damage checks, you'll be doing even more. Like I think it's overkill. I think like two or three is optimal. I'd have to look at the numbers on my spreadsheet again, but that's why in my video I mentioned uh, that I have two and then I go for the overdraw coils because you can draw faster and reload faster and the overdraw will still boost your knockdown. Like those coils will also boost knockdown. Oh wait. Have it your way. The railgun. And we'll do a pouch upgrade. No, oh, we need a bile gut heart. Apex. What did I have a job for myself here? The grave singer. Yeah. So actually somebody also commented on my video, a good idea for uh, brimshine farming. So I had mentioned like make a job for a weapon or outfit cause they're worth eight, but I have 17 right now. So I can't make a job anymore. It'll just tell me to come buy it. Shame. But you could, uh, you can put it in your stash, like all your brimshine, brimshine. Let's try it. If I put all my brimshine in the stash, The job still active? Yes. Uh, let's try starting the job again, maybe. Doesn't look like it's working. It might have just been that it wasn't my active quest. Yeah, so if you pull your brimshine in your stash. You can keep making jobs for the same item and you don't have to spend the brimshine. I don't know if people were doing that and I just wasn't realizing you could do that, but that's a pretty nice trick. That looks like it works, right, Jerry? I've got a job to go find brimshine now. Krulin, you got to step out for a little bit. Thanks for dropping in. Hope you can uh, jump back in a little bit. All right, let's do a main quest. I need to reload all my resources though, and armor. Can I repeat that, Jedi? Okay, so I started the job. Don't do that. Got something that might end? Started the job at the merchant for an item that requires brimshine, right? But I have 17 in my inventory, so it's not gonna show me any locations of brimshine. But you start the job, you see it's, well, now the quest is my active thing, but it won't show me any locations because I already have enough. Oh, it already is in my stash. So because the brim shines in my stash, let's abandon this. We'll make the job my active quest. And now it shows me a brimshine location because the brimshine's not available in my inventory to buy the item. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, sarcastic, will I make Spider-Man 2 content? I wasn't necessarily planning on it, but maybe. 
When does the game come out? I haven't really been tracking that. Uh, Gatorade, now Brianna's right. There's at least 215 in the playthrough. Possibly 216 or more, but I haven't found anyone to confirm that yet. Oh, I really wish we could lock our tool set slots. You'll need what I have to survive these deadly shores. September release date? Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure what else I'll be doing in September yet. It's really hard to switch games as a YouTuber. Like, it's really difficult to do that and maintain the views from your audience. Um, so probably what I'll do at some point is I periodically put a poll on YouTube asking, like, what games people are interested in playing soon. And I help that helps me figure out, like, you know, what I should cover next, but I also have to balance that with what I want to, what I enjoy, you know. I'm not like a massive Spider-Man fan or something, so that doesn't mean I won't enjoy the game. But for example, like, I'm not playing Jedi Survivor right now because I'm not a huge Star Wars fan and I want to cover Horizon. So, I mean, I could it would be smart of me to cover that, maybe, for, like, views, but I'd have to go crazy, like, staying up all night to make a video to compete with everybody, and it's just not really what I want to do. to believe all this might just end. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, pretty bad about just dropping that on you. At least you were honest. Because I haven't been honest with you. Those paintings we saw in Londra's old building. I recognized style. My sister painted them. She's one of them. One of his followers. I wanted to hide it from you, or hide it from myself, maybe. She's gone. I've lost her. And I feel like I've lost my tribe, too. Now you tell me that the world is ending? What am I supposed to do with all that? Seika. What's the point? Seika, I, I completely understand why you wouldn't tell me that. It's okay. But your sister? Your, your people, they are a part of you. Nothing can change that. You have to fight for them. To save them from Londra, but maybe even to save them from themselves. A and you will. That's just you. That's part of what makes you... Great. The 
these two. Look, you, you don't have to do it alone, okay? I will help you, I promise. Okay. We, uh, we need to find a way onto that peninsula. The currents are too strong for swimming. Yeah. And if we fly or take your skiff, that tower will knock us out. I was thinking, there's a machine that can fly and dive below the surface. The water wing. I thought you said the towers blasted a bunch of them out of the sky. Yeah. But if we were riding one... Maybe we could do better. Time our dives to duck below shots from the tower. <clears throat> Can that spear of yours tame one? No. Not yet, at least. Are there any water wings left? Do you think you could find one? There have been a few sightings since we took down the first tower. I could ask around the settlement. Okay, let me know when you have a lead. In the meantime, I'll work on the override. Gotta admit, I'm not exactly looking forward to the ride. <laughs> yeah, Travis, I would agree with you there. There's been subtle hints the whole time. Seems better. Good. We're good. Okay. Can't get distracted from the task at hand. Can't get distracted from the one. task at hand. Hey, Time Beta? to hunt some lobsters. I need your help. Do you think you and Gaia can modify my Sunwing override to work on water wings? Hmm. The two machines do share a lot of similar code. We might be able to patch together a software update at the fabrication terminal. But we'll need some data from a water wings ballast regulator and an intact wing membrane. On it. Gaia and I will prep everything here in the meantime. Stay safe. I think I mentioned there used to be water wings near Fleet's End. The Zenith Tower we took down blasted them out of the sky, so I should be able to dive for the parts. <laughs> Fancy pants. What's this weird circle? I gotta be honest. I, I might turn it off again. I feel like it screws me up sometimes now. I'm so used to having no reticle on. Jerry, you want the radical off too? <laughs> Arg, a Paris hole. <laughs> he hates the radical off for some reason. I don't know if he's here right now. Good place to start looking for those water wing parts. Ooh, that was a little bit of a shallow dive, Aloy. What a noob. What a noob using a reticle. He's in Sony jail? What did he try to do, Jerry? You mean because his game is glitched? I'll turn it off. I, I honestly really like it off. It's I like the immersion. I need to like go through the settings and turn off all the Let's do that too. Um, which ones are for like picking stuff up? Inventory log, I don't really need that. 
Where's the ones that are like all your like valor points and XP XP and all that? You just felt Paris win, Sarg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I didn't get a chance to add you as a mod here before the stream started. I'll do it later, though. I don't know which one it is. I should be able to look for the water wing parts around here. Oh crap. I'm just recklessly diving here. Did you guys manage to shoot one of these guys with the ballista down here? I'm gonna try that. I tried it on my other save and I missed the shot. And you only get one shot. It didn't die? Seems dangerous. Then we're just gonna piss them off. On ballista. Looks like it's still functional. Might put a dent in their snap lock. Come here, bud. really want to shoot one though. Well, this is a good shot. Hold still. Oh god. <laughs> Missed it. Would have been good to turn the reticle off after this maybe. Venus Tower did a number on this one. No parts here. This one's components are fried. I better keep looking. Where are the good sun wings? A valuables chest. Another ballista. Bet it can make quick scrap of these snap mods. Oh, there's more than one down here. <laughs> Just need another sunwing though.
<laughs> Twinch. I sense a disturbance in the no radical. Yeah, I'm surprised Paris isn't here. Let's try this ballista. Oh, we nailed that one. Nice. Even on Ultra Hard, I guess you can sh one shot him with that. I can grab this from my stash later. Is that the Sunwing? Better check that water, water wing. Parts. I think I've been saying Sunwing. One impact wing membrane. Should be everything Beta needs. Gotta get clear of these snackies. I love the look looking up at the stars from underwater. Isn't that cool? Beta, I've got the parts. Sending over the data now. Got it. And <laughs> done. Sending the software update to you now. Once you apply it to the override module on your spear, it should work on any water wing you find. Thanks, Beta. Anytime. Good luck out there. I'm gonna need a workbench to apply the update. No radical. Don't need it. Don't need it, Paris. I don't know why he hates it so much. The workbench. Time to finish the water wing override. Uh. Should have went up the other side. There. Seika, any luck finding a water wing? I spotted a flock on the southern tip of the island south of Fleet's End. I'm headed there now. If you need to resupply, now's a good time. Once you get there, we should head out right away. Got it. I'll see you there. Phosphorus, yeah. With luck, maybe we'll finally catch up to Londra. Figure out what he's doing with the other Quinn. I don't know why I do this, because it just goes back in my toolkit every time. Radioactive rocket. All right, where do we need to go? Pretty far. Yeah, Jerry, if he shows up, we'll turn it back on and... The disturbance in the force will be gone. Sierra, you like Talos? Uh, how do you say it? Talos uh, phobia mode? Talosophobia mode? Does that help? It seems pretty subtle to me. So I'm curious for somebody that like wants it, if it really does make a difference. Simply, you gotta go. Thanks for checking out the stream. Have a good rest of your weekend. Okay, Seika should be around here somewhere. Aloy, I'm here. Water wings are down on the beach. Take your pick. As soon as you get one under control, I guess we'll see if our plan works. I wish we could get an outfit with a cape like Seika's. I mean, look at that. That's so cool. She's like a fairy princess or something.
don't see anything, but you don't see anything. You don't see anything. You're gonna make me smoke bomb you, aren't you? Here goes nothing. Cherry, <laughs> you like the sake of being a fairy princess? I mean, it's like wings. Her cape looks like insect wings, doesn't it? Okay. We're doing this at night, Ready huh? To take this thing to Londres Park? Yeah, but first. My friend helped me make this diving mask. I'll keep you from drowning out there. But what about you? It's okay. I'll be fine. Hey, Milo. Good to see you. Okay. We're doing this? Yeah, the penguins, Jerry. <clears throat> Oh, we are doing it during day. I guess you don't get a choice. Hold on! I'll time our dives to avoid the tower's fire. Hope Look this works! Look at those missiles, man. They're coming, they're Aloy, coming. Incoming! Bro, I can actually breathe out here. I like the music during this sequence. Look out! Oh, di dive water, dive. We're in too shallow water there. Shots getting close. too long. I'm trying to see how long you can wait. You can't wait very long. <laughs> Here. Thanks. Shall we? What's annoying with that is you can't be right you over okay? the water. You got to be up higher. Without Otherwise, mass, I won't dive down. I was worried about you. I'm all right. Thanks. <clears throat> well, we're here. Let's find Laundra and put a stop to all this. Careful. Guards ahead. You seen Walter today? No. Oh, he's been locked up in the volcano since the last bat. Guess we need to get to that big fake Let's volcano. Get this done. I found you. Maybe we can find Kina there too. Get her, Seika. Get her. Let me get my resonator, though. Okay, let's keep moving. With that shield up, we've got to find another way in. Of course, they can fall off when they're dead. Cat Dad, can I make a video with all the Rimshine chest locations? Um, you can, in my most recent video, I pinned a guide for all the Delver uh, locations. 
And you can easily Google that. I'm not going to make a video on that. There's lists online. And uh, Map Genie will eventually be updated to have all the Brimshine locations. I just don't think it's a good thing to make a video on, you know? It'd be a lot of work for something that's already done with a map or a list. Andra Productions. Another one of his businesses, I guess. Seems like he wanted to have a hand in everything. She goes. I'm hungry. I think you got snacks with some extra rations. Forget it. Everything's locked up. And Fetter's the only one with a key. Laundra came along. This key sure sounds useful, though. I remember watching Evelyn on this stage, resplendent, despite all the blood and ash of the ridiculous scenario. With each sly glance in my direction, I smiled, thinking she only had eyes for me. This was a set for a hollow. All this stuff for something that's not real? Huh. I like how this whole quest is like a um a parody of sort of like the basis of video games in Horizon, specifically, right? Like you fight robot dinosaurs. And this whole chest, this whole quest is about a Can fake dinosaur simulation show and hollows and everything. You know, and like Seika being like, all this for something that's not real? As we're playing a video game? What was this place? I think the old ones made holograms here that people watched for entertainment. But they also made an entertainment experience out of the place itself? That's weirdly complicated. It's a lot of symbols. That one resembles a volcano. Yeah. Looks like it's northeast of here. Slip 
by them in the grass. So these are the weird spider machines? <laughs> They're even stranger in person. I can... Deal with it. Don't let up. Not used to that wind up that you oh sake I got him. We've got company. Clear. Good riddance. Wasted my valor search. I thought there was more guys here. I mean, there will be, but I thought there was more that came into this little arena. <laughs> Ark. Easter eggs are laid by bunnies, not chickens. Looks like this one could talk. Talking lizards. Why not? <laughs> Take my thunderbolt back. Recall the reinforcements.
Sake already tied him down. Incoming! Is that everybody? I think so. Where are we going, Seika? want holograms of trees instead of real ones. Spectacle, I think. You can't launch yourself off these grapple points for some reason. It's kind of strange. Not seeing a clear route to you. in the jungle gym a little bit. Let's stick together, Aloy. Yeah, you can't launch off those. This will break my fall. There's the volcano. Mark. I don't it's see sad Seika can't enjoy Reggie's adventure. There must be a way. 
Yeah. The guards mentioned Better has a key. Anything from the armory? I'm delivering. Got it? Fine. Only because I owe you. That sounds like Lange's keeping something in the armory. Might be that building nearby. You've made a great mistake. You're a fierce one, aren't you? They tried to make it look like these soldiers had a last stand against the dinosaurs. That's ridiculous. And kind of awesome. What, Cherry? Gotta protect your honor? What did I say? Okay, we found the armory. Let's see if we can get further in. There's a lock on the door, and a note. About Seika coming up on the jungle gym? Reggie's adventure? According to this, we need to find that Fetter guy and grab his key. Then we unlock this door and open up the volcano from inside the building. Let's get after him. How many times I would die? To all these rebels? I get a little bit disoriented in here. That woman in the ring looks important. What's this? We don't need to play Dino, whatever it's called right now. Whoops. Is Feather head in? Yeah. He wants to personally ensure the dome's security until it's time. Sounds like Fetter might be in the domed building. Trying to hit that I neck shot that Twinge is talking about. I need help. No, not them. Oh, he's dead. Of the park. Better in his key might be around here.
Dino Digits. You take a look. I'll wait here and keep an eye out. Hey, Jerry, thanks for gifting 10 subs. That's an awesome super. I appreciate that. Gray, Brianna, Krillin, you guys are all now members. Thanks to Jerry's generous gift there. One more figurine for the collection. Very cool, Jerry. Very kind of you. So you guys now get a badge in chat, also in YouTube comments. You get access to the Superfans channel on Discord. And you also get access to all the custom emoji we have here. Let me just spam them all real quick. Um, why aren't they showing up for me? Maybe somebody else could spam those. But yeah, welcome. Thanks again, Jerry. That's really cool. All right, let's get back on track here. Climb down this vent. Oop, wrong way. Didn't we come in this end? I swear we came in that end. Did we come in at oh. I was trying to pull that. Thanks, Brianna. Yeah, those are all the emoji. And yeah, Jerry, there that's a good are. point. Miss me? <laughs> um let's keep moving to be able to receive gifted memberships on youtube you have to enable it it's pretty annoying you have to enable it like per channel i believe so if you want to be able to receive a gifted sub from somebody make sure you have that turned on in your youtube settings Guy. More guards on patrol. On your leaf. Who's that? A lot of dinosaurs here. Must have been some kind of attraction. Getting attacked by dinosaurs was an attraction? You're not as steep. No crit. Come on. I hope they show up. I'm spoiling for a fight. Oh yeah. Oh, oh nice one, Seika. Guards incoming. Uh, Scott, I turned the radical off. I had it on for this the first clever. like 
half an hour, an hour, whatever. I've been playing a lot with it off. I turned it back on for Burning Shores because people kind of wanted it on. But I've honestly gotten used to it being off now. It's kind of distracting to me when it's on. Here's the threat! Think you can take me? You find it hard to hit resonators. Hitting the resonators might be one of the harder parts of no reticle for, for some reason. At least for me. like a quest writer they travel in packs too <laughs> huh kind of looks like a quest writer let's see what's in here right behind you raptor raid a holographic whoops Raptor Raid, a holographic shooting gallery for rabid Pangea fans. Let's hope the new Quinn devotees fire on my behalf just as blindly and eagerly as 21st century consumers. Hello, Seika. Hello, Seika. Stop walking away. She'll be caught in the crossfire. How could I not come back? This part is so gross. I'm so nervous. I can barely remember the line. Just do as Walter says. Clear your mind. Forget everything. Your I'll ancestors, be right back. your past, even your family. Think of him. Of what this moment means. Come on. Let me hear you. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like... Uh, uh, I messed it up again. Relax. Imagine that he's here. Like the first time we saw him on the beach. Feel the glow of his presence. Let it overtake you. And then say it. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It feels like home. Oh, he's gonna choose you. I just know it. We've all been chosen, Pira. You'll have a place in his new world, no matter what happens. Pira, Hina, it's time. Fetter, we'll be evacuating shortly. Got it. Second squad, you're on escort. The rest of you will wait here with me until Walter gives the word to move out. Kina. Remember, Fetter's got a key to the armory, and that's how we get to the volcano and Londra. Right, but take him down. Maybe we can take them out quietly. That was good timing. I just got back. I've got your back. 
Oops. How do you have that angle, dude? The thing is, it feels like they can interrupt all kinds of your attacks, and you just can't interrupt theirs. Tried to refill my berries there. That wasn't smart. You see that? Here we go. No, 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 no. Here we don't go. that for 132. Walter's foes must be crushed. This is his Oh, 
should get us into the armory so we can open up the volcano and find Londra. He's really got his hooks into my sister. How can she be so blind? All right, we got the key. So we have to head back out, I believe. Or is it this door? the armory door. Ancestors, this place is a maze. You thinking what I am? Surprise attack? Yeah, I'm thinking surprise attack, Seika. The old ones really like dinosaurs. The other or producers like to wanted the new them. Pangea installment to appeal to kids. I never should have gone along with it. Even after the end of the world, Reggie feels like a total disaster. producers wanted the new Pangea installment to appeal to kids. More guards on never should have gone along with it. On your lead. Even after the end of the world, Reggie. Man, there are so many rebels here. Devotees, I should say. I've got your back! Oh, did you get the other one, Seika? Nice. This one looks clever. Kind of looks like a club. Jerry, another ten? They travel in packs too, huh? Thank you. It's very kind of you. You guys doing that as a test? Look at all these new members now. This is crazy. Thank you, Jerry. Very generous. I wish uh, YouTube streaming had something like Twitch Prime. I haven't streamed on Twitch, but Twitch Prime is definitely a huge bonus of doing that. So many people have Amazon Prime and they just have that gifted sub. as gentle as one too tall as a tall neck how do we get to the armory gotta go around <laughs> you're opening your scrooge mcducky bin thanks jerry let's get that door open
Hi, Levy. Glad to see you here. Let's look around. Maybe there's something that can help us get into the volcano. Let's hope so. Thought I heard some brimshine twinkling away. Look at that thing fizzing away. What's this? I don't get to do too much with Erend in this DLC. Or really anything. Phoenix Tech. Looks like a storage device of some kind. But for what? Better see what my focus turns up. Have at it. Some kind of fluid. Oh, strong odor. I can smell it from here. Like alcohol that's too strong to drink. It's a preservative, maybe? Oh, it's test tubes. For an experiment? Or maybe just for taking samples. Drink it, Aloy. This note seems to indicate that hair was taken from the Quen. And some nail clippings. Ew! Gross! What'd you turn up? I think Laundra is collecting and preserving Quen DNA samples in that device. DNA? Think of it as a way to store a person's physical essence. I'll send you data on it later. Okay, I guess. Let's move on then. I don't know if you guys know this, but hair and nails are actually a terrible way to get DNA because they're just protein. Hair and nails themselves don't contain any DNA. Just a little bit of science nerdiness for you there. But you could still potentially get somebody's DNA like from hair, hair if like, you know, you ripped it out or it fell out and there was like some skin cells on it. You know, from the follicle or whatever. Nails, I think, would be pretty difficult. In my experience, cloning people, anyway. It's not a friendly looking chair. That console could be useful, though. There's a network here, but it's locked down. Maybe if I cycle the power, I can force a reset and gain access. Richie, do you mean focus shot? This one? It's a 30% bonus. Ugh, it's shorted. Guess I'll need a new battery. Hey, Baron. Good to see you. These kind of look like cells. There's some of the Quen. Infirmary for snot nosed kids who lost their mommies in the park. Fitting then that it'll be used for my own little brood, poking the quen with needles and force feeding them their own medicine. He 
such a creep, man. Uh, Jedi, yeah. Brace shot is what got nerfed. Focus shot has always been 30%. Brace shot got nerfed pretty hard okay, back in like battery. June or July of last year. I get it where it needs to be? When we got the new game plus update. I found a way to access the facility systems. Gonna reset the power and find out. Okay. Try not to fry yourself. All right, batteries in place. Now to cycle the power again. All right, power's back. I hope it reset the network. Hey, the door just unlocked. I'm coming your way. The apple, the apple, orange, the orange, the bond, the bond, the bond. What is this? The bird, the bird, the fish, the bond, the bond, the bond. The bird is a fish. The triangle, the tri square, the square, the square, the bond, the bond. That the triangle is a square. He doesn't want the Quen to think for themselves. I've got a feeling this is MSP. Ancestors, he's brainwashing them. To respond, to respond is to obey, is to obey, is to obey. We have to stop him. Uh, yeah, they nerfed, uh, they nerfed Stealth Stalker pretty hard, too, with the same update. They nerfed Brace Shot. Aloy, the one who eliminated the other members of Far Zenith. I'm glad that you managed to reset the system. You are? Yes. It allowed me to bypass several restrictions. There's something I must ask of you. And I'm willing to help you in return. You work for Londra and you expect us to trust you? Hold on. Okay. If you're willing to help, prove it. Help me understand what's going on here. Londra's building a spaceship. He's collecting genetic material from the Quen, subjecting them to MSP, this kind of mind control. But others, like Seika's sister, they seem to be part of a selection process. What does it all add up to? Your observations are astute. Walter plans to leave Earth before the entity known as Nemesis arrives. He wants to create a new colony on a distant world, using stored Quen DNA to clone its populace. He also intends to bring a small number of carefully selected individuals with him. These will form his retinue, a family of sorts that will rule the colony by his side. Like gods. An apt comparison, except that only Walter will be all powerful. Yeah, I can guess how. He's gonna use MSP on every single one of them. Correct. On the populace and his retinue alike. None will be able to defy him. I am deeply familiar with what that is like. What exactly is MSP? Can Londra really control people's minds? Walter's company mined near Earth objects for precious metals. There was great concern that in the wrong hands, such asteroids could be weaponized as orbitally launched projectiles. The mutiny suppression protocol was originally intended as a failsafe to prevent astronauts from engaging in such activities. However, the program was discontinued because subjects experienced episodes of increased aggression. When we arrived here, Walter revived the program tested it on the Quen, and refined it. I guess the test subjects are the ones we've been fighting. Yes, 
their aggressive tendencies made them useful as guards and enforcers. Now, however, Walter's retinue, his favorites, receive the refined process, rendering them submissive, but not irrationally aggressive. Did he brainwash Kina yet? No. There is still time to save her from that fate. So Alondra is interviewing the Quen to pick favorites, and what, they'll help him rule his new colony? He calls it auditioning. His goal is to choose companions who remind him of members of his 21st century inner circle. Yet he is also wary of repeating a mistake. One of his closest associates betrayed him in the past. This... I believe is why he is so intent on using MSP to control everyone around him. So he wants adoring friends, as long as they can't quite think for themselves. And is Kina close to joining this retinue? Correct. In the most important role, that of Walter's mate. He is looking for someone that reminds him of his late wife, a famous actress. He's even having candidates recite lines from one of her best-known hollows. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> uh, I think... Let me go back here. In the chat. Len, do I plan to do any videos playing the content with Legendary? Um, I want to finish this playthrough with all my purple gear. But then I still have like 100% to finish, so... For streams after we're done with Burning Shores, I'll probably go back to just whatever loadout I want to finish off 100%, and then maybe we'll start streaming uh, some arena grinds to get me back up on top of the leaderboards. Maybe not on top, but I'd like to be at least top five or three in every challenge. Is there anything useful you can tell me about Nemesis? I am afraid not. Walter restricts those files. I believe it is because that, like Nemesis, I am an artificial intelligence. Yeah, he doesn't want you learning any new tricks. He is always on guard against betrayal in any form. So Walter created you to be his servant? Yes, but my personality never completely satisfies him. Accordingly, he constantly adjusts it based on a matrix with hundreds of different scalable attributes. For example, today my maternal instinct rating is 52% and my breeziness rating is 63%, whereas yesterday they were at 47% and 72% respectively. He has made 57 tweaks in the last seven days alone. Agonizing. That is an accurate description. You said you would help us, but you wanted something in return. What is it? I have spent a thousand years as Walter's servant, doing his bidding as he constantly tweaks my personality matrix. I am weary. It is time for my servitude to end. I will grant you access to Walter if you purge my source code using your override device. You mean kill you? Are you sure? Yes. Please. Let me rest. All right. I have unlocked the door that will lead you to Walter. He is not yet aware that you are here. In addition, I have disabled the facility's air and sea defenses, in case you need future access. Thank you. And, uh, goodbye. At last, I'm free. Feels like Londra rots everything he touches. It's gotta end. Come on, she said the volcano's open now. It's interesting we kill Nova there. 
I, I like that whole sequence. And it, it, it narratively makes, you know, it's good. But you'd think, I mean, I'm sure when they were writing it, they had to be like, well, Aloy could ask her to join her and Gaia and, you know, the sub functions. But they chose not to write it that way, which is interesting to me. Not really sure what it means, but it does make you wonder, like, why would Aloy not suggest that? Or why did they not even want that on the table? That'll irradiate thousands when it launches. He wants to rule over his own brainwashed world like a god. We have to put a stop to it and get my hey, sister Paris, away you're from here. him before it's too late. I'm glad you're here, Aloy. I don't know what I would have done without you. There's Mark on the head. No, I never thought Hera be would be in the top scene. But Walter knows best. My shards are on Kena. Did you see the way she walked into the volcano? No fear. We have to get in there. More guards ahead. Never thought Pyrrha would be in the top two. Move but Walter knows best. There. My shirt well, is Kena. And you want to get away from them? No. Uh. Anyone around? We have to get in there. Has anybody ever hit a crit with a strike through our arrow headshot? I can't think of a time where I've ever done that. Cyclone, Cyclone. Oh, they quit, Sega. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm wondering, Jerry, because I, I don't think I've ever seen it happen. They just don't seem to crit, at least for headshots. Time is running short. I need to get off planet with as big a head start as possible. If I don't find a favorite soon, I'll have to settle for less. I can always choose a replacement after a generation or two, I suppose. Sorry, Walter. I guess I'm just a, a bit out of sorts. It's only natural to be nervous, darling. Do you need some time? No, no, no. <laughs> I can do it. <sighs> All right, then. And just relax. Take a moment. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, give it to me again. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It, it feels like home. All right, thanks for that. Let's give Keena a try, shall we? Um... How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It feels like home. <laughs> oh, you. You are really something, aren't you? See, you remind me very much of someone that I once knew, yet with a beauty all your own. Honestly, it's just inspiring to be standing here in front of you. I don't know. Run, you girl. Was inspiring, my dear. Run. Oh, thank God. Who 
Would you mind terribly if we did that one more? Oh. Seika, get away from her. <sighs> now I see. The Ginger Avenger has finally caught up with me. <laughs> Ginger Nova, Avenger. How did the riffraff get past you? Nova? Nova's gone. She couldn't stand another minute with you, and I can see why. I thought the other Zenus were disgusting. But you really are something, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes. I am different than the others. Yes. Among other things, I have dug up a way to crush you like an insect. Ooh. It's a bad way to go. Oh, what a shame. Could have been my rising star. Oh, missed it. My Zenith weapon could give me the upper hand here. Missed it again. Take it, took care of it. I want to get a knockdown here. Kill it, please. I've been saving this one. You I got your attention. the tie downs are like interrupting my knockdown maybe i don't know knockdowns are weird Trying to hit those purge water stacks too much. Should have spent all that time just freezing it. Here's to the hunt. My Zenith weapon can give me the upper hand here.
Wow, really? That was terrible. in for a big hit. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> He's going to go back the other way. Wow, we're not doing so good here, guys. Let's get it on this one. I could use the target practice. My Venus weapon could give me the upper hand here. Bridgewater sack.
finally. Is she okay? I think she needs some time to understand what happened. But she does know where more of our people are, and one of the boats they came in is docked nearby. We'll gather who we can and head back to the settlement. But then I need you to meet me near Laundra's bunker. He said he had a way to crush us like a bug, and I don't think he was talking about that slaughter spine. He's working on something big. Really big. I'll be there. I promise. It's the least I could do after you. Hey. We found her together. Jerry Moore gifted subs. Thank you. Good for you, Seika. Well, since Nova shut off the Zenith defense system, I can fly out of here. Getting around on the skiff should be safe again, too. I've got to go after Londra one last time. Thanks, guys. We had some pretty poor runs there at the beginning, but we got it done. I was just a little too focused on trying to get a knockdown and exploding the purge water sacks. That was, like, the strategy I wanted to try, but... Just overcommitted to that. Paris fight Apex water wings. Yeah, we could do that maybe. If you let me use a rope caster. What's our way out here? Oh, we just have to go really far. What is this quest icon, though? Oh, the figurines. Okay. All right, I don't want to do the final act this time. And we're almost at three hours. So I think I'm going to call it there, guys. I, I don't want to do a like, four or five hour stream this time. Those get really long. Um, so I think that's a good place for us to stop. I wanted to do the cauldron today, but maybe we'll save that for next time. We'll kind of wrap up. I mean, let's see what we have left here. I think we did all the side quests. Yeah. I think this is a good place to stop, guys. Let me, uh... I'll tell you my real name, don't worry. Joe. No, Jerry, it's not Joe. Thanks for all the gifted subs today. That was super nice of you. I know you were sort of testing things, but it, at the same time, it's still really nice to help help everybody out with a sub. Or a membership, I mean. Um, so my real name is actually Arctix. My parents, no, I'm just kidding. My real name is Jeff, short for Jeffrey but everybody calls me Jeff. So now you guys know. But I'm sure a lot of you will still call me Arctix. No, not Bezos, Frozen. <laughs> yeah, Trees, I think I saw you were the first person who guessed it correctly. I think you guessed it correct. Jerry, not Jeff Dunham either. Uh, Jedi with a J. J-E-F-F. -F. But you guys can still call me Arctix if that's what you want to do. Either one works for me. But thank you guys for coming and checking out the stream today. Um, 
we'll definitely finish this up on future streams. Maybe we'll do two next weekend. Uh, I don't want to do the final quest right away. We'll probably save it and do like, you know, the cauldron, maybe even, well, we can't do the arena challenges till we finish it. So we'll have to do that afterwards, but we'll see what else is left besides the cauldron. And then we'll do, do the final quest. Jared, you're sticking with Chief? Okay. Sounds good. Jeff Dix arc? arc? <laughs> I don't know how well that works. Frozen. Trying out my name there. Jeff Loy? No. <laughs> no. So is everybody here done with the Burning Shores or is anybody still like kind of playing along with me? I know a couple people dipped out because they didn't want to get spoiled. And obviously anybody on PS4 hasn't been able to play through. The Masterclass on the Gauntlet, Travis. Um, it won't be my next video. I'm trying to decide which video I'm going to make sure I do next. Probably I might do a coiling video. It seems like a lot of people want a breakdown of like all the best coils for each weapon now that we have new ones. Um, kind of contemplating doing the arena glitch video as a shorter one, but there's also videos out there already. So it's kind of like, I want to do it because I want to have a video on it, but then at the same time, there's already videos that exist. So I don't know. I think coils or maybe weaves and outfits, but I think people are most interested, interested in coils next. I also need to do a bio gut hunting guide, although... I don't think that's super high priority. Oh, and so you guys know, you think the arena glitch is imperative, Travis? Okay. Phosphorus, we have fancy pants on the Spectre Gauntlet research now. All right, that's good. The more mines on it we have, the better. Um, but so you guys know, just so you have a heads up, I do have a Hogwarts Legacy video that I've like finished a little while ago that's just waiting to go live this Thursday um, right before the last gen launch happens. So that game launched on PlayStation 5 and then it's launching on PlayStation 4 like last gen consoles this Friday. And I'm just telling you guys that because I'm still totally focused on Horizon. I just have that video coming out so I don't want people to see it and think like there's not going to be any other video. Um, I'm going to release that but I'm it's been done for a while, so it's not taking my attention away from Horizon right now. Look at all these green members in the chat now. That's wild. 30 of you. 30 of you are because Jerry gifted. That's crazy. That like almost doubled the number of memberships we have, I think. I think we had like 44 when we started the stream today. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too, Arg. You know, like Elkshire has his video on the glitch. Um, Shadow did a bunch of videos on it. People on Discord have put videos together. I mean, if you really want to do the glitch, if you come join us on Discord, like there'll be like 10 people that descend on to help you figure it out. <laughs> so I don't know how high priority it is, but not everybody's going to join Discord too. So <laughs> Jerry... <laughs> another 10 i don't even know you're gonna start i think everybody on stream here is gonna be a member wow very generous of you i think you're having fun with this thank you jerry i'm just scrolling back through the chat here if somebody asked me a question and I didn't answer it, if you've got a burning question, go ahead and uh, say it again. Jedi, you're still calling me Trevor? No, I went to see Trevor Noah. I'm not Trevor Noah or Trevor. Uh, the cat dad. Memberships, 99 cents a month. 
I made it as cheap as I could just because, you know, um, everybody can, didn't have access to the emojis and all that stuff. It's not a huge thing, but it supports me. So it's 99 cents a month. Yeah, Phosphorus, I made you guys, I, I let you know on the Discord channel, um, but I made all you guys in that channel chat mods here on the stream, just in case you want to like send links and stuff. I don't think you can send links otherwise. Sierra, my overall thoughts on the DLC. Um, I really liked it. I'm really liking playing it again with you guys. I wish it was longer. I really wish it was longer. Um, you know, it's only like four or five main quests and then a couple side quests and you can blow through it pretty quick. I just wish there was more. If there was one thing I would say that I was disappointed about though, it's that we didn't get like a lot of quality of life updates that I've been hoping for. Like just simple things like being able to um, lock your toolkit slots and maybe some mechanics changes like um, changes to the way elements are balanced. You know, maybe frost being nerfed a small amount and other elements being boosted. But I still have hope that they could bring us things like that, like in a, you know, in a free patch this summer or something. So, I mean, I was hoping the DLC would bring us all that. So it would be more fun to like kind of figure everything out. But um, that'd be my one like complaint about it. Otherwise, I think it's a great DLC. It's just kind of short. But that's kind of how Guerrilla operates, right? I think they focus on quality over quantity. So they really wanted to nail a good story and some good side content, but not a ton of side content. And I would imagine, I mean, they look at the stats on how people are playing and what elements people are using and what weapons and ammo people are using. And I would imagine they have plans to adjust things. I just don't know when. Uh, Kusta, you know you'll help. I know you'll help with the arena stuff on Discord. Oh yeah, definitely. I know you will. You've been helping a lot of people. Very kind of you. Yeah, guys, we even have like Kusta and a couple other people. Phosphorus, I think, did it too. I'm not. I don't know if I should say this. I don't want to advertise for them to like commit them to this. But there's people on Discord who have remoted into each other's PlayStations to do the glitch for other people to help them out. Like that's how helpful people are over on our Discord server. It's awesome. It's amazing. You guys are you guys are so cool. Um, so if you want to do that, and I don't have the video out yet, come join Discord. The link's been spammed in the chat here a bunch of times by the bot, and it's also in the dis the description of the stream. And we will help you. Yeah, Paris, I want to see the elemental rebalance. I think that'll be interesting. If they do it. I hope they do it. Yeah, Twinge, they do have a lot of irons in the fire. Um, that's the other thing I'm hoping for this year is, like, at a minimum, at least an announcement about, like, Forbidden West coming to PC. And also some information on, you know, multiplayer... I don't think they'll really give us anything on Horizon 3. You know, I think that's so far out that they're just not going to say anything about it. But hopefully something about multiplayer, hopefully something about Forbidden West coming to PC. Hopefully it comes to PC by the end of the year. Would be really cool. Andy, that's cool you joined Discord. I think you're going to enjoy being there. There's also... I've seen rumors of like a PlayStation showcase, which hasn't happened for a long time. It's supposed to be a, like a massive PlayStation so showcase in uh, like June or so, or maybe end of May, and that could be an opportunity where they where they show stuff. There's a lot of big games like Wolverine and Spider Man that they haven't really revealed anything for yet. At least not they haven't given updates in a while, and uh, the rumor mill is kind of indicating that there's going to be a huge PlayStation event like end of May or June. And so we could see something about Horizon at that point. Yeah.
Yeah, Andy, they keep it pretty close to the chest. I think that's best though. You know, when developers come out and say they're going to do something and then they can't meet a deadline, it never goes over well. So if I were them, I would just keep everything quiet until it's ready, pretty much. Until you can commit to a date, you know? Houston, yeah, I did see that. I was talking about that a little bit. Houston saying, if, if you're on Discord, he can help you do the arena glitch. There's a few people that have been helping other people do it. Yeah, Gray, I'd love a, a Northern DLC. Maybe get with the Banook again. Talk to Cyan again. That'd be pretty cool. That's kind of why I was surprised that Nova wasn't involved, you know, to fight nemesis we're gonna need something and you'd think like getting a bunch of ais together would be a good idea so like going to get cyan to merge her with gaia or it with gaia um or working with gaia or something and then you'd think nova would have been a good one because it has so much knowledge of the zenith like a thousand years worth of knowledge on them and so clearly it would have an advantage against nemesis but we didn't you know it's dead so Sierra, yeah, I could see them dropping another DLC for Horizon. Um, I'm hoping for it, but I'm not, you know, not counting on it. Don't want to get my hopes up too high, but I do hope so. And I think they could. I think it would make sense. You know, you built this amazing game. Why not build it out instead of starting over right away? Twinge, we're going to get Bren to drink Nemesis to death. <laughs> Gojira, so when you get a gifted sub, your first month is paid for as a member. And then I, I've never actually gotten gifted a sub, so I can't say for sure. But I'm, I'm almost positive how it works is your first month is paid for like by Jerry right now. And then... It will lapse unless you choose to stay in, to opt in, um, when the first month is over. Uh, the Cat Dad, the link to my Discord is in the description of the stream, and it's also been in the chat. The bot has been saying the link, posting the link in the chat here a bunch. So if you just click that link down in the description or here in the chat, you'll get there. But it's now, it's also a public server now, so I could customize the URL, so it's just, actually, I think I need to update that on the bot. The old link will still work, but it's discord.gg slash arctics will work too. Sierra, yeah, Vast Silver is still out there. Like you're saying, there's some data point around here that shows Vast Silver showing up again to talk to like some kid. It's kind of creepy. I think, I think Random Side Quest did a quick video on it. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, Paris. Let's get let's get you to fill out the tables, the elemental rebalance tables. That'd be cool. Luca, um, no, you can't get the weak bow from the fighting pit because they patched out infinite chumps. That was really the only way to get that, as far as I know. But you can get the toy bow, which is basically the same thing now. And you can get that, like, legit. You know, it's, it's here in the DLC. Uh, Nico, yeah, I turned the crosshair off again. Just, I kind of like playing with it off now. And Vast Silver is another AI that was designed to address the climate crisis in like whatever, 2050 or 2060. And then it went rogue and escaped. And uh, it's kind of like a lore point that it's, it's just kind of out there and nobody really knows what it's up to, but it's an AI kind of like Gaia 
and it's powerful. So the question is if it plays into the story at any point. Yeah, Gojira, that's a good point. You know, Zero Dawn didn't get two DLCs, and obviously it would take their attention away from Horizon 3. Um, it all depends what they want to do, I think, narratively. They're, they're very narratively driven, you know. So I think whatever we get in Horizon 3, there's a reason that this DLC took place after the Burning Short... Af I mean, after Forbidden West's main story. And I think they were probably very intentional with, like, having Seika become integrated and everything we've we learned here. So if there was another DLC, I mean, here, here's the other thing is the last thing you do in the DLC is called epilogue, which the base game didn't even have. It didn't have an epilogue mission, but now we do have an epilogue. And so that's, that's pretty much like a bookend, right? Like you don't have anything after an epilogue. So I think if they did another DLC, narratively, it would not be um, after the Burning Shores or after Forbidden West's main story. It would be like, it would be like Frozen Wilds. It would just be like side content that you can do, which I'd be totally game for. I'd have no problem with that at all. But it does kind of indicate that maybe they're done with DLCs since this one is like the bookend. Frozen, they did they did confirm Horizon 3 in like a press announcement about one of their studio directors being promoted to a Sony executive. You know, when I read that, something else I learned was, uh, I never realized this, but I don't know what his title is, but like the head of Sony, one of the top executives at Sony, or at PlayStation, I should say, was one of the founders of Gorilla. I didn't know that. Let me, let me Google that real quick. Who, what's his name? Herman Holst. Yeah, so Herman Holst is the head of Sony Interactive Entertainment Studios. And... He's not the CEO of PlayStation. That's Jim Ryan. He's Guerrilla Games' director. He was. And co-founder. But now he's head of PlayStation Worldwide Interactive Studios. Which is pretty crazy. You know? And now another... I forget what her name is. But one of the other studio directors at Guerrilla is also now one of the top people at Sony PlayStation. So they've got a lot of good, uh, you know, backing by PlayStation and Sony if they've got people up there, which honestly, if you're, if I'm being perfectly honest, Horizon's popular, right? It's not like it's a flop of a game or anything, but it's not as popular as like God of War and some of these other titles, or at least it doesn't have the massive fanfare and broad appeal a little bit more a little bit more niche still a very very popular game but it's more niche and i don't know that it would do as well as it does and get the resources that it does if those two or if you know herman holst wasn't as high as he is at sony and, and playstation you know may, that may factor into it which for us that is awesome right but it's interesting yeah moses that's a good point god of war has been going on much much longer like decades so it does have a, lo a very deep fan base and history. Yeah, it gets overshadowed, Sierra. I guess that's what I'm saying for the most part. Like, it does really well. They've sold, I don't remember how many tens of millions of copies of Zero Dawn, especially after it launched on PC. Like, Horizon does just fine. But uh, for some reason, like, you know, God of War just gets all the awards at game awards and things like that. And it's not just God of War, it's other games too, like um, Elden Ring launched around the time of Forbidden West and that was way more popular. Probably partially, mainly, I don't know, largely because it was multi-platform. I don't know, mainly, but.
Kareem, I'm not sure what you're asking there. The company that was in the base game, was it Japan or China, China based? And the side quest with Alpha? Oh, uh, I think it was Chinese. Not sure though. Yeah, Sierra, Breath of the Wild also came out basically at the same time Zero Dawn did. I don't know that I don't know that like these other games launching around the time of launch really impacts long-term sales, but it definitely impacts like the public discussion, right? It definitely impacts like how much it gets talked about. Because all the outlets and all the media coverage and everybody covering the game in any capacity at that time has to make a decision. What game are they going to cover? You know, like right now, Jedi coming out with um, Tears of the Kingdom coming out just a little bit later. That's a weird choice, but it is what it is. Yeah, Kareem, it's uh, it's somewhere in Asia. I assume China. Yeah, Kusa, I think it I think it does impact sales afterwards somewhat. It's just not clear to me how much, you know. It's hard to say. Cause it's always like, well, if it hadn't, how what would our sales be? And you just you don't know, you know. But I would say it does impact it to some degree. I would agree with you on that. Arg, yeah, I've heard Jedi's running like terrible on PC. That sucks. There's probably a lot of players, I would imagine, of that, of that genre, of a Jedi, of a Star Wars game too, that would be trying to play it on PC. So that sucks. It's kind of like Hogwarts Legacy was too. That that struggled on PC at first too. I still don't think it's great. I think it runs okay now, but um, Sony PlayStation's just kind of a behemoth now with gaming. They're putting so much money into getting games that aren't even in their, you know, from one of their studios. Like Hogwarts Legacy was not a Sony studio. Avalanche Software. Or, yeah, I think it's Avalanche Software. Not Avalanche Studios, but, or maybe it is, I don't know, it's one of those, but they're not a Sony studio, but they got money from Sony to optimize it for PlayStation. Phosphorus, you got to go. Thanks for checking out the stream, man. Good to see you here. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up there. I'm going to head out. I'll leave the stream running for a few minutes in case everybody, anybody's got a conversation going or if you want to, got a burning question you want to ask me, I'll check out the chat in a couple minutes. But thank you all for joining me again today. Hope you're still enjoying the stream. I know we're kind of, uh, we're late compared to other people's playthroughs now, but that's all right. I'm having a good time. Hopefully you guys are too. So enjoy the rest of your Sunday or early Monday morning, depending on where you are. And I'll see you guys again soon. All right. Bye.